There are solar projects throughout the United States. Take this Q-Cell solar project out in Texas. It generates enough energy to power thousands of homes annually. It's creating local American jobs, bringing community benefits, and generating independent American energy. Now that's impressive. Solar in the U.S. tends to fall into three categories, residential, commercial and industrial, and utility scale. Residential solar installations are the type you might see around your neighborhood. Here, the sun powers a single home. One out of every three residential solar panels installed on U.S. rooftops is Q-cells. Commercial or industrial installations are used for larger energy needs. These facilities aren't just meant to power one home. They're large enough to power industrial energy users, like warehouses and other commercial enterprises. Then there are utility-scale renewable energy projects. These are the latest in energy generating technology. A single large-scale project like the ones Q-Cells develops and builds can provide enough power for upwards of 26,000 homes annually. Beyond the direct benefit to the power grid, these projects can play a huge role in protecting local habitats, improving soil health, and benefiting the local economy, all while preserving the land's agricultural abilities. A project can create 200 or more construction jobs at its peak. Some of the jobs can even be sourced from the local region. Beyond the direct on-site jobs a solar project generates, there are tens of thousands of American jobs created as a result of one project, including factories, shipping, and countless others. Developing a project brings together the land, permitting, environmental, and key relationships to set the project foundation. Development is usually a multi-year process. Q-Cells engages with local and regional authorities for permitting to ensure the best outcome for all involved, including the community and environment. The entire Q-Cells team collaborates to bring a project through development. Once a project has secured the proper permits and approvals, it's ready to move forward with construction. Construction for utility-scale projects typically takes between one to two years. Even though these projects can supply power to tens of thousands of homes, the construction process can be explained in four simple steps. The initial pre-construction and ground preparation, or civil work, Installation of the solar equipment and components. High voltage work, like building substations. And finally, commissioning the project to operate. First comes the initial civil work, where engineering teams prepare the project's land to optimize its performance. Teams may do light grading and vegetation management to prepare a site, digging trenches for wires and cables. We avoid pouring concrete. Most structures only require piles and don't require excessive digging. Roads for our facilities are usually just gravel or compacted dirt. Plus, fencing and vegetation buffers are used to help incorporate the facility into the community. Construction teams then begin installing the equipment. They drive steel piles into the ground, install the module racking on the piles, and connect all the modules, inverters, and other electrical components. Next comes the high voltage work, where engineers might build a substation or other transformer components. Finally, Teams work to make sure the plant is operating and running smoothly. Once internal and external authorities clear the project, the project begins producing energy and pushing it to the grid. Any missing ground cover crop is planted. Once a project begins operating, the significant work is done. Solar projects typically operate for 35 to 40 years. The site produces clean, reliable energy, provides millions of dollars in tax revenues for the project's life, and has no environmental or pollution waste. When a project ends, it's decommissioned following the plan established with local authorities during the development process. Decommissioning can take a year, but once complete, the site is returned to its original state. The site's components, including all equipment, roads, and concrete, are removed and recycled to restore the land substantially. Unlike many other types of energy generation, the land where a solar project sits is not an environmental threat. The land can be farmed immediately after a project is removed. And in fact, the soil is healthier from it. The soil health improves through the project's life from the shading and rest that the project provides. The land is ready to be used as it was before. Q-Cell Solar Project helps maintain a legacy for landowners and communities. They preserve land for generations. Beyond partnering directly with communities, Q-Cells has invested around the U.S. to partner with other communities and governments. What really sets us apart is this, our domestic supply chain and manufacturing. 
Our initial factory in Dalton, Georgia, opened in 2019. To date, this is the largest solar panel manufacturing plant in the Western Hemisphere. Then, in early 2023, we doubled down and made the biggest U.S. solar investment ever. We announced a $2.5 billion investment to build a complete solar supply chain here in the U.S. By 2025, we'll be producing 8.4 gigawatts of solar panels. To put our factory output into perspective, we can power the equivalent of more than 1.45 million homes in one year. We'll employ 3,795 American workers in Georgia alone. Our investment will build the nation's only complete and sustainable solar supply chain, from raw material to finished panel. QCells is building American jobs, American manufacturing, and American energy for communities across the country. We want to support you and your community's legacy for tomorrow.